Afternoon. Hello. Deputy Gannon at the Sheriff's Office. The reason I pull you over is one, you didn't come to a complete stop at Mission and Fairfield right there. Mm -hmm. And number two, um, you have a pretty severely broken windshield. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, do you have a driver's license on you? No, I don't. Do you have a valid driver's license? No. Yeah. Okay. Can you step out of the vehicle for me right now? Go ahead, step out of the vehicle. Turn away from me. Hands behind your back. 3079, case number is 9570957. How bad is your driver's license? I don't have one, never had one. Okay. That's 104. Anything on you get you in trouble? No. Okay, when was the last time marijuana was smoked in this vehicle? 396, Never? Never? Okay, why am I smelling a little bit of marijuana coming out of here? I'm sorry, good coffee, try it again. Okay. Spice. Is there spice in the vehicle right now? 104. All right, go ahead and take a seat back here. 374, go ahead. Who is she to you in there? A friend. I was just giving her a ride. Okay, what were we all doing on a mission over there? I was giving her a ride. Okay, you pick her up for a mission? Yeah. What's your uh, first name? Mariah. M A? M A R I A. I'm still getting some smell of spice or marijuana coming off of you, okay? Um, so, do you want to be up front with me or do, do you. We had, well, I smoked the spice blunt earlier, that's what I was. Okay, so you smoked spice earlier, yes. but there's no, nothing in the van? No. Nothing on you personally? No. Okay. Step back to the car for me. Step one out for me. Turn around. Do you have anything on you to get you in trouble? No, sir. Okay. Smoking pipe right here, over here in the door. Uh -huh. Yeah, it looks like it might be a little bit of spice. Do you think her name is maybe Goldie? And him and I, my name, or date of birth. Tim thank you. I'll figure it out. Where's your room? It's what? You tell me the truth? Yeah. Did you understand that providing a false name to a law enforcement officer, you can be charged with that correctly? So, what's your real name? Donald. What's your date of birth? 776. She's two. I wonder battery, criminal mischief, and the other for failure to appear. Temple. Uh, driver, she initially gave me a false name, um, but with a little bit of investigation, we were able to find out what her real name was, and she has two warrants. She does not have a driver's license. And we found a little bit of spice and a pipe in the vehicle. You're way out of your way from Paradise Valley. Well, I know, but I just, I mean, it's a brief mystery, dude, you know? That it is. Somebody else in here with you? My girlfriend. Hello. I just don't see the need to... How are you doing, ma'am? Do I know you? What's your name? Vanessa. Okay. This is not happening. Hey, what's your problem, bro? You don't belong in this neighborhood, and we're doing our job checking it out. What? I belong in the street that I drive in. And then I just talked to you, and you told me that you have no idea where you're at, and you live in Paradise Valley. So we're not in the wrong here. Settle down. All right. You have a warrant or something? Step out for me. No. Well, I'm probation. I've done time. No, I... Okay. If you don't like have a warrant, don't worry about it. And if you got a city warrant, don't worry about it. I don't worry about it. I just stressed out, and I, I'm trying to do the, I'm taking her to court, actually. Okay, so you've got court oh, for a charge. No, I'm going to get you there. I'm just I know, but right to remain silent. Exercise that <laughs> Seriously. Straight up. I've been through it all. I'm not a bad person. I'm trying to do something good in life. Oh, well, I'm not questioning her in, in a crime know, either, so I know, right to remain silent is kind of... That's right, man. You know what I mean? Listen, you got a warrant for your arrest, okay? Which means they're gonna arrest you, book you, take everything off you, and search your car. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna ask you this, and I want you to be real honest. Yeah. Is there something in that car I need to know about? I have a pocket knife. Nope. Vanessa, that's not what I'm talking about. You need to be honest with me, because if I find it and you're lying, I'm gonna book you both. Um, a pipe? Is there a meth pipe in that car? There shouldn't be, but mm, there Take your hand out of your pocket. Okay. Okay. It's your mom's car? Yeah. Okay. Where would that meth pipe be? In the front, like underneath the coin change, like the coin. Is there meth in there too? No. Are you sure? I'm sure. Nessa, I'm telling you right now, if you're lying to me, you there's know where you're going. There's meth in there. You have any problem with me getting it? No. Okay, think tight for me. Is there just one, Vanessa? Yes. Are there needles in there? No. There's no needles anywhere in the car. No. I don't want to get stuck with anything. 
meth bags, meth pipe. Vanessa, I thought you said you didn't have needles on you. you got all kinds of needles. Come on, that's not cool. Well, you can stand here, but I don't have a lighter to give you. And right now, he's dealing with something else. Hey, Justin. Yeah. I'm going to talk to your girlfriend for a minute, and you guys are going to be out of here. OK? Sure. I'm not going to book her. I'm not going to book you, even though I can arrest both of you right now. I'm going to give you a piece of advice. My partner's a lot nicer than me. You're over here whining and complaining. You know why? Because I'm right. We stopped you, and what do you know? We're right. You're doing something wrong over here. There's needles and pipes in there. You want to talk smack to the cops when we show up? 100% of the time, you, listen, 100% of the time, you're going to regret it. Maybe you'll get some soft cop to let you walk over them. That ain't me. OK? Yeah, but if you're honest with me, I'll be fair to you. Your girlfriend's honest with me, so I'll be fair to her. I don't care about your misdemeanor warrant. I don't really care about that drug paraphernalia. It's not a big deal. That's it. OK? Thank you. Chill out. All right. Oh, the reason I stopped you, man, you didn't come to a stop prior to that stop sign. You went like a whole car length past it. This isn't. You got your ID on you? No. Do you have a driver's license? No, this is for you. Okay. Do me a favor, open up the door. Mm -hmm. What do you got going on? Here? Just step out real quick, bud. Can you please, man? Just me. My mom will be down Okay, okay. Please don't take me to the what you doing driving, then? I was just driving right up the road, man. Officer Floyd, this right here is all the way back to high school, ain't it? You on probation? Sit down on the ground. Did you toss that bag out there? No, sir. Why is it in, right in front of your car? I didn't toss it. Hell weird. Step out of the car. It was not mine. Officer Floyd, I, you know I was sitting here, did not do anything. Step I, out. I did not. Are you serious, Step Jack? out of the car. Come on. Why are you quit act, Just quit, and then quit acting up. Step out. I didn't do it. I don't mean you're going to... Are you with me? What did I do? Jack, what did I do? I didn't do anything. Oh, my God. I've done nothing wrong. It's right outside your window. Officer Floyd, I There's, did. Your stuff's all right there. That's not... How is my stuff out there? You were right That's behind us. No, it's not. I don't want y'all talking at all. Sir, what are you doing? What do you got going on, Officer Floyd? What is this? What do you got going on? You Crystal are meth, younger than me, and you know. Marijuana. And looks like heroin. And then the, there's this stuff right here in front of the vehicle, no. which I guarantee you one of them just tossed it out. It looks like there's a syringe. Yeah, loaded with meth. That's a lot of different narcotics back no, there. Right right outside her know. window. She's a known intravenous drug user. So unless one of them cops up to it, both of them can go to jail. Yeah, What's your first name, bud? Harold. Harold? Who tossed that, that cigarette pack? I didn't throw that. OK, but did she? I don't. I didn't see her. I was paying attention to you. Because I can easily just take both of y'all. She was moving around a lot. Mm -hmm. I didn't physically see her doing anything. But she told you to? Pull up in here? Yes. Does she have a purse with her at all? I don't know. A little bag. What kind of bag? Just like a little bag. What's it look like? Uh, it's just, it got a zipper on it. Had a zipper? Yeah. Why are you with her? I was giving her a ride to probation. Yeah, you don't have a license. Why are you driving, man? She needs to take her probation so she can drive it. All right, with y'all. Sit tight with me. I'm going to jail. Martina, I'm going to talk to you, OK? Oh, God. Who tossed that note out the window? I didn't throw anything. Listen to me. We were right. I kept seeing. I, I was on the driver's side. I was side. scared to death. I didn't have anything on me. Because here's the I thing. I just come from the police. I wouldn't I have understand that. But here's the thing is, it was on your side. So he's saying he didn't toss it out. So who else would have? Did he toss it out or not? I mean, he had to while I was looking at back at Jeep. Why is it a female colored bag with a loaded um, sword? Um, I didn't have no bag. My purse is in that back seat. I'm not doing that stuff. I am on a case plan trying to get my kids back. Please don't ruin this. I didn't, I didn't do anything to you. I didn't know this dude had this stuff on him. I did I asked for it right to my probation office. He kept moving and shuffling him. And he's like, he's got me, he's got me, he's coming for me. I was like, I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, I don't have a license. I didn't know that. OK. So you're saying it's his drugs? It's to me. OK. 
she saw me watching him because he was he was really nervous because he doesn't have a valid driver's license and he recently got out of jail for that. And I think she took advantage of that and tossed that out of the window. Um, but I was watching him the whole time. He didn't throw anything whatsoever out of the window at all. Can you get your dog? Absolutely. You got her? Can I answer my phone? Yeah. Not right now, man. We're going to have you hop out, OK? You got anything illegal on you? No, sir. Mind pulling your shirt up? Can I pull your shirt up real quick? Just to make sure you don't have anything around your waist. All right. Let's stand in front of my truck. Stand right next to her. You got anything illegal on you, man? Let's leave all that there. Just stand back there. Stand right next to her. What'd she give you? Just go. That man in the cold. Well, that's a completely different name than she gave me. Yeah, she said she was lying. She said she was born in 85, but she's 27 years old. Good? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Your name in our system is Amanda. And you don't have a good driver's license, which would be why you lied about your name. No, my life is should okay. be good. We'll talk about it. Scale. Boom, chakalaka. Oh, methamphetamine. Yeah. Right here. Before I yeah, I saw it sitting there a minute ago. I couldn't tell what was there. Second that. scale. And that's packaged for sales, huh? Yep. I'm going to search them real quick. Dog alerted, and when we went to search the vehicle, I located this, which is methamphetamine. It looks like it's packaged for sale. It's even labeled for numbers. <laughs> right now, y'all are being detained because we found methamphetamine in the car with scales, and it's packaged for sales. So, so right now, y'all are going to be detained so we can talk to y'all and figure out exactly what's going on. Amanda, I'm just going to do a search of your body. Anything on you, it's going to put me sick near hurt me. Now listen, if you go to jail, they're going to search you, and anything I didn't find on you, if it's still on you, it's going to be a felony charge. Is that in a bra? Some methamphetamine. Just lean up there. So in the car, I found four or five separate baggies of methamphetamine and a couple scales. And it was kind of out in the open. It wasn't really hidden anywhere. Sir, I don't know whose that is. That so I you don't know anything about that? I can tell you, it's not mine. Well, I was just asking for a ride. Just rode with my brother to drop somebody off, sir. Do you use methamphetamine? No, sir, I don't. I have before, but I Does don't. Does your brother use methamphetamine? I don't know. Does he sell methamphetamine? I have no don't idea, know. sir. OK. All right, man. Oh. Sit back in the truck, man. Okay, we searched the car and we found some methamphetamine in there. All right, there's five, four or five baggies of methamphetamine. Looks like it's packaged for sales. They all have weights on them and everything. And that's right next, to, it's basically in your seat. And there was a scale under your feet. So and there's a scale in the glove box. I mean, the scale was under your feet, directly under your feet. I didn't know about it, sir. I just jumped in my bird car for a ride. And... How do you know this girl right here? That's my girlfriend. How long have you known her? I've known her for about six months, or well, about five months. So. You know that she had meth on, meth on her? No, sir. So you don't know how she would have gotten methamphetamine no, in her sir. possession? OK. Does your brother deal with methamphetamine? No, sir. It's not looking so good, because the methamphetamine was um, practically in your seat. So right now, you're at least going to be charged with methamphetamine with intent to sell and the scales. So that's where you're at. That's crazy. I got to talk to her. So I want you to be honest with me. Who gave you the meth that you were holding? It was either John or Christopher. I don't know. You're not going to tell me? I'm sure who gave it to me. They know that I was going to jail for it anyway. That's why they gave it to me, right? What about the other meth that's in the car? They didn't try to give that to you? I don't think so. You don't think so? If they did, I didn't see it. Who had the prepackaged methamphetamine that was for sale? I never seen that. I've never seen it. The one that I seen was the one that was handed to me. The okay. one that I, I seen. And was that handed to you by Jonathan or Christopher? I can't honestly tell you. All right, well, that's your decision to make. I mean, unless one of them want to take their the one, it's not going to happen. So. Well, they're not really, they're about in the same position you're in as far as how what they want to talk about. Yeah. Right now, Christopher's not going to jail. So Chris is going home, and you and John are going to go to jail. All right? Yeah. Are we going to get back over there now, John? Up in there, man. Amanda, look at me real quick. You have nothing on you? All right, y'all got any questions for me at this point? No. 
So you're going for possession of methamphetamine with the intent to distribute, like I said, one count of paraphernalia. You'll go for lying about your name, no DL, and the possession of methamphetamine. <laughs> you want